Hi guys, in this video we will learn how to create dependent dropdown with select to in Laravel live wire. So let's get started with an example. So in this example, I simply created one component that's called user create component and simply I created form with name and email. Let me go here. You can see that this is simply bait file and this is the component class file over here. Okay. Now what I will do simply go here and I created tables that's called countries table over here you can see that india and united state same thing i created state table you can see that and i also added country id over here and let me go and that's cities table i created and simply added state id over here okay so now in this example what i will do simply add three drop down country state and city okay if you select the country then related state will be come out with the select uh, state drop down okay and if you select the state then in the city there will be related all the city of related selected state okay so let me go here and first i will add class mt3 and i will add first of all see country and here i will be say select okay and i will add class form select okay and here i will be say option that's called select country save it okay and now let me go and simply refresh it you can see that country drop down and now let me go and i will create i will add another column that's called country underscore id save it okay and now what i will do simply bind it so i will say wire model and i will say country underscore id save it okay now what i will do simply go here and i also created models that call country model okay you can see that so what i will do simply go here and i will use use app models okay country and here i will take one public variable that's called countries okay save it and by default it will be yeah array okay and what i will do over here simply this in in the mount what i will do countries and simply get all okay so that means save it okay and i assign to the countries variable and now let me go here and simply i will add for each loop over here so i will say okay so for each loop i will add okay so for each okay and i will say countries okay as country and and for each loop okay and then i will simply add the options country name save it okay and same thing i will do for value I will add id okay simply save it okay and now what i will do simply refresh it and you can see that all the country display over here okay and what i will do now i want to use select to as well so what i will do go to the select to documentation and if i click on install i will use cdn so simply copy this and go to my layout plaid file and simply add over here okay inside the home save it okay now what i will do simply go here and at the end of the blade file i will say script tag okay and i will say and script okay and what i will do script and here i will be simply say here like that's call select to country okay save it okay and what i will do simply go and i will say select two and i will use select two okay simply save it okay and now let me go and refresh it you can see that india i selected if i click on submit name field is required but it's also again the simple drop down becomes so what i need to do simply i need to add event listener so what i will do document dot add event listener okay and i will say live wire colon initialized okay
and I will say function and what I will do over here so simply call live wire hook so I will say live wire hook and I will use morphed event okay and then I will simply say so when our element will be load then also we will call so I will also create one function so simply copy and paste over here okay and also I will take this okay click go and save it okay and now let me go and refresh it okay click on submit it's keep with the select okay now what I will do you can see that same thing I do do twice okay and so I will do one function over here that's called function load jQuery something okay and what I will do simply I add this line over here okay and simply call load jQuery function by default okay and same thing when it also load every time when element will be changed as well so that way I don't have to write two times that, that okay save it and now refresh it and if I choose India and click on submit you can see that okay and now let me go here and if I click on submit same thing I will add validation for country as well so I will say country underscore ID is required okay simply save it refresh I will choose India okay and then click on submit you can see that okay and also add the sorry validation message so we can see okay simply go and add the validation message that's called country underscore ID save it okay refresh if I click on it country is field required I selected India and click on submit but still this message is showing over here okay why let me go here and let me info it over here and I will say this country underscore ID and let's see it's displaying or not so let me go here log file and let me clear it simply refresh I will choose India click on submit you can see that it's empty so that means when you change the options at that time should be you know add set the value into the live wire so what I will do simply go here and select to has a on change event so I will use on change event okay and here I will be use function okay and then what I will do simply I will use wire dot set and then first argument you need to pass variable name so what I will do simply go to the class country underscore ID simply go to the over here and simply paste it over here first variable name and then I will say this dot well okay save it okay and now let's see refresh it and you can see India and if I click on submit okay and now you can see message is gone and one is over here okay so now what we need to do I will add another drop down over here okay so simply go and I will copy this and yeah I will simply remove for now this and I will simply say state okay select state and I will say state and always will also change the class state okay and I will use state underscore ID okay save it okay and same thing inside the class I will take another state underscore ID save it okay save it okay and now if I refresh it you can see that there is strap dot uh, state drop down and if I go and click on India then it should be populate which is the uh, state are connected so it should be uh, like uh, you know Gujarat and Maharashtra and if I choose U United States then it should be Florida and Alaska okay so same thing what I will do over here simply go and first of all I will do I will call dispatch event so what I will do dollar wire and I will say this patch one event that's called like change country okay so that means once country will be like once country will be changed like selected at that time this dispatch event to the our component class so what I will do over here simply I will create one function okay and that's called change country and here I will be simply remove it okay and what I will do simply I will use 
live wire slash attribute slash on okay and here i will be say has on and to the bracket i will give what dispatch event name so i will simply say change country okay so that means this function will call okay so what i will do info and i will check it okay so go and here save it okay and now let me go and refresh and if i say india and now let me go to the log file you can see that here so that means when you change the country at that time it's coming over here so what i will do the next i will create another variable that's called states okay that's also array okay and now what i will do simply go here and i will copy this for each okay and simply paste it over here and that's called states and i will say state and i will use state variable over here okay simply go save it okay now what i will do when you change it okay first of all when you go hit and you can see that yeah, that something is wrong uh, constant experience invalid operations so maybe yeah what i will do over here uh, i do nothing over here and simply i will go here and i will say states and main mount then i will decide the empty save it okay and now refresh it's again same yeah, sorry comma okay and refresh it okay now it's fine okay and you can see that now if i change it okay and if i select india yeah do nothing over here okay so what i will do over here next states okay when change over here the country like then what i will do i will simply use this states okay and what i will do simply i will get the state from the state model so i will say state colon colon so that means i already created model that's called state you can see that so what i will do simply use it before add the query state and here what i will say where country underscore id <clears throat> and then i will say this country underscore id and then i will say get okay simply save it okay that means it's assigned to the state variable save it okay and now let me refresh it and i will say india then you can see that gujarat and maharashtra if i choose united state then you can see that florida and alaska over here but it's not select so what i need to do for select to so i will go here and i will do same thing for state so i will do same thing so i already created state select to state class so i will do change event okay i will remove this and i will assign to the state variable okay save it okay and now what i will do both are select to you can see that and now if i say india then you can see that gujarat and maharashtra same thing united state you can see that now if i select florida and if i go to the india you can see that gujarat is selected because the first because when you change the state at that time it's assigned to the state variable okay so what you need to do when you change the state at that time you also need to stay change this state id underscore null okay simply save it okay and now what i will do refresh it i choose india and here i choose gujarat and if i choose united state it's become again select state okay you can see that florida and alaska okay now what i will do i will add another drop down that's called city okay so let me go here and i will copy and paste this and here i will be say city and here i will be change the class name and i will change the column name that's called city underscore id that means like you know variable name select city and here i will be add select underscore id let me go here and define it over here so i will say select city underscore id and here i will be take another variable that's called cities okay and same thing i will assign empty array when it's mount okay same thing i will use that cities array over here and i will say city same thing i will say cities city over here save it okay and now let me go here and same thing i will also assign select to over here so i will say city 
and when it's changed it should be city okay save it okay and now let me go and refresh if i say india and if i say gujarat it's do nothing why because we need to dispatch the event again for the state okay simply copy this paste it over here and i will say change state okay so what i need to do simply go to the class here i will be copy this simply paste it and here i will be say change state i will change method i will say state save it and here i will be use city model uh, city model that i've already created simply copy this paste it and what i will do over here cities and i will say state underscore id and i will simply say state underscore id over here okay and the same thing i will say cities okay save it okay and now what i will do simply remove this line as well save it okay now refresh okay and if i choose india and if i choose gujarat then you can see that ahmedabad surat and rajkot you can see over here okay now if i choose united state you can see that and if i go here you can see that it's keep this city over here even if i change the country so that means when change the country at that time i also need to make it empty my cities okay cities and i will say empty again okay save it okay and now let me refresh it i will choose india gujarat ahmedabad okay and if i choose united state then you can see that all become empty okay and <clears throat> now what i need to do again okay so i will do choose like you know india and then you can see gujarat and then you can see ahmedabad okay and if i choose maharashtra then you can see that mumbai is all already selected so what i need to do when you change your state at that time city should be empty so what i will do this city underscore id should be null save it okay and now let me go refresh and i will say india i will select gujarat then i will select ahmedabad then i will select maharashtra then you can see that you need to choose mumbai over here okay so you can understand how easily we can create dependent drop down using laravel live wire same thing if i choose united state then you can see florida then you can choose miami city okay so i hope guys you understand how easily we can create dependent drop down with laravel live wire so if like if you like this video then please subscribe my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching guys